Oscar-nominated actress Kate Hudson is setting her sights beyond the big screen and showing off some different talents in 2024. So please welcome the most fabulous Kate Hudson. Five thousand years. Hi, Hi honey. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. My God, you look awesome. awesome. Thank you. It's been you. a while since you've been here. It's been yeah, uh, yeah. Because I've been they, here seven years. They told me 2016, oh, which is that's when you were here. Can you believe it? Mm. Oh, that freaks I think that me was out. The, I think that was the year I was fired. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, I was here. I, no, I think you were yeah, here the last. No. No. I think your mother here. was here when I was was here, but not you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And my son is going to be twenty. <laughs> that oh, that's yeah, me. I, re I remember well, Ryder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that little guy. Let's, is. let's let's unpack that. <laughs> yeah. Before well, we get into but, how no, I had him, which was having sex, which was I, a great. I, I would like to ask you about that because um, I wanted to know if you heard us and I if of course if you had any tips like things that you really shouldn't do after sex. That you shouldn't do? Or should. But I should say, or pee. <laughs> you have to pee. Yeah, oh, thank you. You should do that. That is great. <laughs> so, you, right. so, you have to, so you have to get up out of bed, though? Well, the, or the, like dance out of bed. I don't know. Yeah. Prance. <laughs> Prance out of bed. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah. I I'm, pee. I'm, more of like, I'm more of like with Whoopi. I'm like, I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> After you've been with someone left? for yeah, so long, you're, you're like, honey, I love you, like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> stuff to do. Exactly. We're yeah. a very busy woman. And speaking yeah. of busy, so this year you said that one of the things you want to be doing more is singing. You have an incredible voice, and yeah. you're actually going to be oh, putting yeah. out an album at some point. What made you want to do this? Tell us everything. I'm so excited. Well, I feel like I'm going to get to that at some point this year, but... Um, I mean, long story short, I've been writing and singing my whole life. Wow. I've just never shared it. And then COVID, I, I get, you know, you get asked a lot of questions over and over again. And one of them is, what are your, do you have any regrets? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and that just kept going in my head. Like, if I don't put a record out, I'll regret it. Oh. And uh, so why not? And, and then my other thing is, is that if I was going to do it, I had to commit to it. Mm -hmm. So I took two years and I wrote a record. And I can't oh. wait to share it. Um, and I'm excited. And I also just have no expectation of like, it's, you know, I just want to yeah. put music out. That's so, it's so, a, well, it's my, my dear, love. you posted a Mother's Day tribute to your mother. Uh, this child's mother is Goldie Hawn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was last year. And she gave you. You said that she gave you freedom to be wild. Yeah. But well, what does that well, she mean? She's wild. How wild. <laughs> <laughs> yes. well, what's like the that. definition of wild in your family? Like to, to be naughty and to not always have to make the perfect decision. Like my my oh. parents wanted us to go out and have fun and make mistakes and be good people. Obviously, make smart decisions, but yeah. they gave us freedom. Um, and. Yeah, and so and like she wasn't obsessed about what time are you getting home, like I it was. <laughs> like, I know, I it was more like when's my mom getting home. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it, was like, it was like you know, I'm I'm actually more structured than my mom. Um, I love, but I like, but it was good. It's a good, you know, I, I and I implement that with my kids too. It's like really. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to make mistakes, and your I, kids I don't know what's old? happened. How but old are your children? Twenty. 20? Almost oh, and tw <laughs> 20. Oh, 20. Ryder's 20. Um, oh that's actually God, an older know. picture, but Bing is 12 and Ronnie's five. Oh, oh you have oh. to spread out Ooh. group you've got. Yeah, yeah. That's a 20 year old with the mistakes. Awesome. <laughs> Makes them all the time, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's great. But you know, I think it does, like, the more, I think the more room you give your kids, the, yeah. the I think they, yeah. you know. The closer they stay. It's true. Yeah, I, yeah you yeah, know. Yeah. He's he's actually in school here oh, right cool. now. He's living in the city, which is great. It gives me an excuse to come lots of room for mistakes. City, yeah. <laughs> lots of room for mistakes. But you and know, fun. but fun, yeah. And yeah. and I think that I also want my kids as they get older to not feel this like crazy expectation. Like there's so much pressure on yeah. kids right now. It's so hard for teenagers. That was like the biggest thing for me was to watch the kids in his class. Well, and... is it harder now for teenagers? Oh my gosh! Oh, social media! Yeah. Oh my God! For us, it was like, 
you know, even getting into college, right? The college like, application process oh, is what a, happens? I, I don't know, but what it's happened? wrong. It's crazy. It's bad. And, and 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 when I was, it was like, who's going to college? Like, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. kind of like that, like only 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And so now you tell these kids, it's like, if they don't get into this school, then what does that mean about the who they are? that they put on them. And it's like a job for them to get in now. Like, it, yeah. on top of all their schoolwork and everything else they're doing. Which doesn't make difficult. any yeah. sense because we know that people, some people who haven't even graduated from college are leading the way in innovation, are yeah. Yeah. CEOs of major fortune. Well, you don't fortune. want to encourage that. You want them to. Well, I didn't go to college. I didn't go to college. I didn't go either. It's not everybody has your talent. Working. No, but everybody does and not. Not everyone is has not a beautiful voice. A part not of the institution. Is, yes, yes yeah, not yeah. everybody if, can if do you're it. Not, if, if that isn't your calling, yeah. there are other ways to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Well, and, pu and pushing I, kids into places they're not ready nor want can well, cause you bigger mistake. problems. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Or make them feel anxiety yeah. or lead yeah. them to feeling depressed about where they are in their life and what it means and how significant they are. Like, all kids have to be so significant. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah. 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 You know, because we're, because I think that social media, social media is, is sort of makes you think like, oh, everybody needs to be an entrepreneur. Oh, no, everybody needs to like be excelling in this way. It's like, what happened to craftsmanship? What happened to, you know, introverts, they the don't importance of the that, introvert. Yeah, yeah. And they don't understand that these Instagram posts and the TikTok, those are highlight reels. Yeah. They're not They're real. Clothed. There They're are filters clothed. and everything else. But Kate, I really Speak want to ask. Speak for yourself. <laughs> 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 Kate, I want to ask you about your brother, too, because you guys are doing, um, Oliver Holly. Hudson, your mm -hmm. brother, you guys have a podcast called Sibling Revelry. Yeah. If I'm getting that right. Yeah. And um, I have three siblings, so I know how complicated oh, these yeah. relationships can be. Has <laughs> doing the podcast changed your relationship with your brother? Big time. Yeah. Well, it also just makes us spend more time together. Like, we, you know, we, we didn't realize that until we were actually doing it. We were like, oh, my gosh, we actually, like, we know what's going on in each other's lives more than we yeah. did you know, the month before we started. And the, and the most interesting thing with the podcast is how rewarding it's been, like how connective, how many people that we're connecting with, you know, through emails and stories that we're hearing about family relationships and, um, and the importance of that relationship, which isn't really explored, I think, as much. Yeah. Um, so it's been, it's been fun for us. We, we love it. It's been like years now. It's been, I, think it's, I think we're on our third year. Third year. Yeah. So it's, he's a great actor too, and I always forget he's your brother. It's so <laughs> funny. But okay, I can't believe I'm saying this. Last year marked the 20th anniversary of your iconic rom com, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, oh one God. of my all time right. favorites. Yes. It's, it's a good one. It's so beloved by so many people after 20 years. Why do you think it still resonates so much? <laughs> Honestly, I think it was well written. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and I think there's this sort of misconception that a rom com is supposed to like have a certain formula, which it does. There is a there is a formula that works, mm -hmm. but it does also start with the writing. I mean, we went through multiple writers on that. We really made sure we had like a great foundation of a mm -hmm. script, and then the cast. You know, the cast was pretty good. The cast. Well. <laughs> 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 we like we like that McConaughey, but 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 you know it's hard to get movies male movie stars to make rom coms. Yeah, and so that's also I think a big part of yeah. the equation is to have that event. Mm -hmm. um, and so as long as we you know we can get more Marvel guys to like you know hey yeah, yeah. come do a rom com. Yeah, um, yeah. I think that that's a big part of the formula too. But well, why wouldn't they event. do? What's the What's the misstep there? Because you want fem females are a demo of buyers, and when you sell a large your, one, yeah, yeah. So when you appeal to them, you can go be in Marvel next yeah. or do anything you do want. They just want to like women, you know, fight each other in a Marvel I think, movie. I mean, if I'm, I think it's about the writing, yeah, and 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 how we're investing in telling the story, the writing and the directors. You know, if you look at like the classic rom-coms or movies that last forever, because they do, they, they, yeah. they're the ones that last forever, yeah. and people go back and back. You know, they had, had the best writers, you know, yeah. Nora Ephron and oh, great directors. True. Like, so I think it's more about how the studios are investing in the talent. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Um, then, um, yeah. it's the whole thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a master class on rom-coms. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>